Tell us about the changes that happen um, because pornography is not, I love the fact that you have a YouTube video that, that was, uh, I think the title was pornography is not sex. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tell yeah. us about what happens to the brain when people start consuming pornography. Answer your question on, on how it kind of changes, changes the brain. So this is Dr. Trisha's uh, terminology here. She referred to pornography as what's known as a supernormal stimulus. Um, so when we think about our brain, the way that I try to explain it is our brain is literally the filter uh, that we experience the world through. Like it has to filter things in order to cipher down all the chaos going around in order for us to have a human experience. Now what happens because of this super normal stimulus, there's nothing in the, the natural world that will give your brain the type of stimulus response that internet tube streaming pornography of today does. I'm not talking about, you know, our grandfather's magazines or, or, or if you even go back in, in, in caves, you can see kind of what would have been pornographic, uh, you know, visuals back then. I'm talking about this infinite millions upon millions upon millions of videos available to us for free at just the, the scan of a finger. So what this does is every new hardcore image, every new video, every new scene, and, and for women that don't really know how guys consume pornography, it's not I watch an hour long video and I just sit there and watch it. It's no, I'm gonna watch 30 seconds and I'm gonna move to the next one. And then I'm gonna watch 30 seconds and I'm gonna move to the next one. You're kind of seeking this extreme stimulus response but it's every change of the screen every graphic scene is creating this response in your brain now you and i were talking offline before before we hit record about dopamine um and i'm and, and i'm going to try to do my best to, try, to explain dopamine because i think a lot of people have it wrong i think they think that we get dopamine like when we go like when we achieve a goal like if we're going to run a race like we get dopamine when we cross the finish line or if we're trying to lose weight you know transform our physique People think I'm gonna get the dopamine, I'm gonna get the reward when I lose the 20 pounds. Dopamine is actually a neurotransmitter that's released when we're in pursuit of our goal. So you don't get the dopamine when you hit the goal, you get the dopamine when you show up to the gym. You get the dopamine when you say no to the cake and eat the chicken and rice instead. You get dopamine not in the completion of watching porn or in the release, you get dopamine in the pursuit of the new video. So this is why it's that type of like, I'm going to watch 30 seconds, move to the next one. I'm going to watch 30 seconds. And then you go on this bender and every scene is literally creating a super normal response in your brain. So what happens, and this is why it only takes one or two time. Once your brain has reached this level of super normal stimulus, it's, it, it's, it's going to, it's going to try to get its baseline back up to that point. So we have a baseline of where we operate and this is where you can kind of enter flow state, peak performance. You need to kind of have balanced alpha, beta, all these kind of different you know wavelengths of our brain. Well, there's a baseline and the minute you start to increase the baseline, then you can no longer get joy or pleasure out of the normal things. So this is why I, you know, I talk to a lot of guys and it's like, what are you struggling with most? They're like, I can't find joy in anything in life other than looking for more porn not even watching and consuming it. The joy is only coming when I'm looking for more pornography. So from, from a women's side, like why doesn't he like me? Why doesn't he seem to have fun when we're with the families? Why doesn't he seem to enjoy being around me? Because his brain has been wired to only get joy, to only get pleasure out of a super normal stimulus. So what we need to do is we need to A, unwire those bad habits, unwire where he's brought down to baseline and then rewire his brain into seeking out pleasure and gratification of normal everyday activities.